Ken Whiting with Paddle TV here, and in this video, we're doing a full review of the Jackson Kayak Tupelo Recreational Kayak. But before we get into it, please subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already, because we got lots of paddling gear reviews, paddling tips, and adventures coming your way. So let's get right into it. The Jackson Kayak Tupelo comes in two different sizes the 12 foot and the 12 foot five. The 12 foot is from medium to small paddlers while the 12 foot five is for larger paddlers. And that's the one I've got here today. The Jackson Kayak 12.5 retails for 9.99 US dollars. It's 12 feet, five inches long, 29 inches wide. It weighs 55 pounds or 25 kilograms and it has a capacity of 300 pounds, or 136 kilograms. It's primarily made for recreational paddling in sheltered water or recreational touring in sheltered water, water that's protected from wind and waves. The Tupelo Sit Inside Recreational Kayak has a number of features. It has a removable raised seat with integrated lumbar support. It has gear tracks around the deck for accessories like rod holders, GPS, cameras, it has deck bungees on the stern and the bow for stowing gear. It has a paddle holder, a padded cockpit for your legs, adjustable foot pedals, and a rear hatch with a bulkhead to create a separate compartment for your gear. It also has a tri-chine hull that's designed for tracking and stability. Well, time to get this boat on the water for the real test. One thing I can tell you is that I love sit inside kayaks compared to sit on top kayaks for the simple reason that they're so much easier to carry. Well, I've had a good chunk of time to Paddle this boat around, give it a good test, and here's what I can tell you. First of all, handling or performance. I love it. <laughs> you know, this is the kind of kayak I like. It's fast. You know, it's, it's not a, a super wide boat. Um, and so, and it's got that nice V hull. It just pierces through the water. It's nice and fast, but it still has the stability that you expect from a recreational kayak. It's not uh, a sea kayak that is tippy. I have no problems putting my, my paddle down. So wonderful speed, and uh, but still maintains its stability. It's not the most stable kayak, but you know, I would still put almost anyone in this kayak and feel comfortable. Secondly, uh, comfort, you know, I am, I guess you could say over the years, I've become a sucker for comforts. It used to not matter. Whatever I could get myself into, I would squeeze myself into it and be happy. Nowadays, I want a comfortable kayak, and this kayak is comfortable. The seat is wonderful. It's a quick drying seat, nice high back, lots of support, and if you notice, I'm using a a uh, PFD, a paddling specific PFD that doesn't have any flotation where the seat is. So it's very comfortable for that reason. Um, but the seat is just, it's great. It's raised off of the floor too, which not only keeps my butt dry, but the other benefit of having a raised seat is that my feet are lower than my butt. And so that's a much more comfortable sitting position in general when you're spending a long, uh, a long periods of time in a kayak. The padded sides of the boat here, it's just a nice feature. It's comfortable, the foot pegs, great. Uh, I'm a stickler for having foot pegs in a kayak. Without them, uh, you really just, you lose a lot of control um, and comfort too, because your, your legs uh, don't have the support they need for a long day. What I love about this kayak is it's not overly complicated. It doesn't have a gazillion features, but what features it does have are the most important ones, in my opinion. It has the, you know, the bungees on the deck for stowing gear back and front. They're great. I mean, most boats have that, and they're, they're, they're really, I think, a uh, staple. You need to have them. Um, the gear tracks, though. The gear tracks that are mounted here in the front and then behind me here, 
What those do is make this thing completely customizable. If I want more uh, accessories on this boat, if I want to put a rod holder here or a camera mount or a, uh, a phone holder, whatever I want, a, a, even a, a drink holder, I can do that. And because they're flush, they're mounted in uh, recessed into the boat. You're not knocking your knuckles on that. They're not a problem. They're not sticking out. So that's, a, that's just a wonderful feature to, to open up a world of customization for your kayak. The hatch in the back is wonderful too because it has, there's a bulkhead in here which separates this whole rear compartment from the rest of the boat. No hatches are watertight. You can't expect it to be waterproof but you can't expect to keep the bulk of the water out. It's gonna be water resistant, we'll say. So far, I'm loving it. Uh, I can do a bit more paddling around and, um, and see if anything pops to mind. Well, that was a nice paddle. It's a beautiful spring night. And I got to try out a cool new boat. It performs great, um, paddled so well. It's stable, it's very comfortable. You know, it has just enough features. It has the key features that I need and the option to customize uh, as much as you want. You know, I think anybody uh, that's looking for a, you know, a day tripper or even you could squeeze a multi-day trip out of this. There is enough room if you pack tight, pack light to uh, shove your, your camp gear in the back, then yeah, this is a, a great day tripping kayak for sheltered waters. No, this is not a sponsored episode. They have not paid me to do this. I just really like this boat. And, and I have to say, I'm a little surprised. I, when I initially was like, okay, I'm gonna test the Tupelo out. There's nothing about the Tupelo that screamed to me, man, this is a really cool kayak, totally innovative. I really want to try this kayak out and see, see what it's like. It wasn't that kind of a scenario. It was more of a, you know, the joy is in the simplicity. It's a, it's a wonderfully designed boat. It's got what you need and nothing more. And uh, it's fun to paddle. It's fast and stable. So yeah, uh, two thumbs up. If you want to learn more about the Tupelo, there's a link to Jackson Kayak in the description box down below. Uh, and otherwise, if you haven't already, make sure you do subscribe to Paddle TV because we have tons more gear reviews and paddling tips, paddling ventures coming your way. And if you've spent time in the Tupelo, leave a comment, tell people what you think about the boat. Or if you have any questions for me, uh, again, leave a comment. I'll get to it as soon as I can and stay tuned for lots more paddling stuff.